With vision building, you're really looking at more of a global perspective. What's the trajectory of where I'm going, where the organization is going? Uh, it's an individual and corporate perspective that you can have, obviously, separately. Um, but it's, it's the overall. Um, what will be true? What's the vision I have for me? What's the vision I have for the organization? What will be true? Where are we getting to? Where goal setting really should be in support of that vision, right? So if you have your vision work done well first, then the goal should naturally come second. Uh, sometimes we spend too much time on the goal setting and not really understanding why those goals matter to the overall picture or having a picture at all of where we're going. Uh, and uh, while goals may be easy to create and track, uh, which is likely why they get more attention, without the vision, these sometimes sort of swim in, an, in the ocean, sort of open and out there and not really as connected as they should be. This is an interesting one. Uh, <clears throat> you know, when, when you have a sense of where you're going, that you have a pathing ahead of you um, uh, because of, of the vision. Uh, there is a sense of comfort, of relief. There's a reduction in stress. There is an understanding of purpose. Those things are all very beneficial to a sense of self and of course, um, uh, mental health, positive mental health. Uh, when, when things are in disarray, and quite frankly, what we've been dealing with for most of this year has been so uncertain, uh, and there's a lack of security, um, that uh, it has been a really difficult year for people uh, from a mental health standpoint. So if we can spend the time to say, okay, look, regardless of the circumstances, where am I headed? What's still the goal of where I'm going? Goal overall, the vision, the trajectory of where I'm going. Uh, and I want to stay secure in that. That's going to positively influence your mental health for sure. Motivation is always right the trick. Uh, it's, it, it, I liken it very much in this uh, topic to even New Year's resolutions, which will be coming up soon, right? That we have the the best of intentions, but we fall apart in, in motivation, sticking with it. I think that when it comes to creating a vision, uh, you need to put a few things into place. One, you need to have reminders. What is going to sort of come up daily for you to be reminded of, this is overall where I'm going, here's the trajectory, this is the vision for what we're building towards, um, uh, and have those reminders daily. It may seem silly. It might seem too repetitive, um, but we know that we're building a habit of motivation by doing so. Uh, and that's part of the goal. The other piece that uh, would be helpful, I think, for a motivation factor is surround yourself with some folks that can support you, that can encourage you, uh, that will keep you honest to the vision that you've set before you, that won't put up with your BS uh, if you're trying to, you know, justify why you're not doing something, uh, have some people who will speak truth into your life in that way. And then the last thing is, don't just look at the vision as um, sort of a, a something that I packaged and put on a shelf. Instead, it is organic. It's alive. It may actually need some tweaking as we move forward. What happens if you hit the first mark of that vision? Maybe the second piece, third piece will change as a result. It cannot just be defined and put on a shelf and left there. That's why it needs attention. That should help you with motivation because it needs your care. Just like a child, it needs your care. I'm John Baldino from Humoriso. Each year, especially this time of year, right? We have a reason to be grateful. Um, at Humoriso, we think about appreciation daily. And it's at this time of year, especially, that I want to say on behalf of everyone here at Humoriso, thank you. We are grateful for your partnership, for your trust, for your willingness to allow us to partner with you in the health of your organization, in providing content that encourages you to do the work that you're doing. 
and in the conversations we get to have with so many of you every day. Again, thank you, and here's to a better, healthier 2021.